Do you want to increase your FPS and lower your input delay in any game for free? This is the updated EXM3 Tweaking Utility. A powerful yet simple tool that can safely optimize your PC in just a few minutes. And today I'm going to be showing you how to download it and use it the right way. But before we dive in, I want to quickly tell you about something better. EXM Premium is our flagship optimization utility and it includes over 10 times as many tweaks. And it's overall a lot more advanced than the free version. So if the free utility helps you and you're serious about getting the absolute best performance out of your PC. Head over to exmtweaks.com and upgrade to premium to take your system to a completely new level. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. So for that, just head over to our website. And once you come to our website, uh, simply head over to the free download section. And in there, just press on download for Windows and then continue with your email or uh, any of these. I'll just continue with my Google. All right, and afterwards uh, you will get press download to start this little thing and all you have to do is just press download now and it will take you to a google drive folder and all you have to do here is just press on this little download button and while it's downloading i want to tell you guys something if this video gets to 1500 likes and we get to 36,500 subs i'll update the utility with a bunch of new tweaks and yeah once you're in the folder simply right click on the free utility and run it as administrator this is very important because if you don't run it as administrator the tweaks won't properly apply and afterwards you have a little welcome screen just press any key to continue and now it's time to make a restore point a restore point will allow you to revert those changes and go back to the settings you had when you made the restore points so just press one and enter and it will create one afterwards uh, just press ok uh, on the little pop-up and now it will scan for resources so all the resources uh, downloaded successfully just press ok to continue and boom we're finally in the menu so we have 11 different categories of tweaks and i'll walk you through how to apply each and every one of them so first we have some general system optimizations so for that just press one and enter and then press one and enter again boom it will do some general system tweaks all right so afterwards it will show this little menu and in here just copy my settings so make sure that show thumbnails instead of icons are selected show window contents while dragging and smooth edges on screen fonts after that you can just press apply and okay so in the next menu we have a full screen optimizations and in here it's really simple if you're on windows 10 then select 2 and if you're on windows 11 press 1. Boom. and for game mode it's the same just press 1 if you're on windows 11 and 2 if you're on windows 10. so the last thing in the general category is core isolation this is a new thing which i added and if you're serious about your security then i would just skip this one core isolation basically protects your pc from driver-based attacks so if you disable it, you will be more vulnerable to that. But if you don't download too much shady stuff, uh, you generally just play video games and use your PC for stuff like video editing, maybe uh, watching videos, then I would recommend disabling it as it will give you a pretty big performance increase. But if you're serious about your security, which is totally understandable, then feel free to skip it. Or if you want to revert it, then revert it. Anyways, I'll be disabling it. And, and yeah, that's everything for the first category. So the next category that we have is power optimizations. So if you're on a really low end laptop or you just have overheating issues, then I would generally just skip power tweaks altogether. But if you don't have those issues, just press two. And I'll just be using the apply all button. So first I will import the free power plan, which you can select right here, but I'll still stick to using my premium power plan as it's a bit better. If you have any like additional power plans, you can feel free to delete them, but yeah, just close out. And the next thing that we have is deleting the default power plan. So if you want to delete uh, the balance power saver and high performance power plans, which are quite bad to, to be honest, then uh, press one. But if you want to keep them, you can skip this. After that, it will just do some general power related or related optimizations like disable link state power management and disabling hibernation. And then it will automatically detect your GPU and disable power saving features uh, related to your GPU. For NVIDIA GPUs, most of them are done uh, through a different tweak, which is later on in the video. But 
for AMD users, you will have a lot more here. But yeah, so after that, we have keyboard and mouse optimizations. So first, uh, we have just some general registry tweaks. And afterwards, we have mouse.iq size. And in here, we have three different options. And the way you find out whichever one is the best option is by pressing T to open Task Manager, then going into Performance and finding your CPU. All you want to do is just comment below whatever type of CPU you have. I have a 13 gen Intel Core i7. So just comment whatever you see here. And I'll answer your comment and tell you whichever one of these is the best option. But yeah, I personally have a high-end CPU, so I'll be pressing one. And boom. So lastly, we have some USB optimizations, which will just disable some power savings and select it and set the thread priorities. And yeah, that's everything for the third category. In the newest version, it should auto detect your GPU. So it detected I have an NVIDIA GPU. In case it's wrong, then just press G and you have all the options there. But all you have to do is just press one. And for all GPUs, it's really simple. Uh, for NVIDIA, you have, it applies the NVIDIA profile inspector, which just optimizes your general 3D settings in NVIDIA control panel and much more. So just press OK on the pop-up and it will do some other tweaks and boom, that's it for GPU. And afterwards, we have CPU optimizations. And if you have overheating issues or a really low end laptop, same as with power optimizations, I would recommend skipping this, but if you don't, simply press 5 and then it will auto detect whatever type of CPU you have. I have an Intel CPU, but it's the same for both AMD and Intel. Just press 1 and enter and it will apply all the tweaks and boom. So the sixth category is going to be cleaning temporary files. So first we have just some temporary device data. It just unused drivers and device data in your PC, which afterwards we have Windows Clean Manager, which is this neat little Windows app. First of all, just select your C drive or the one where you have Windows installed on. So in here, select everything except DirectX shader cache. And afterwards, just press OK and delete, and it will clean all the temporary data. Next up, we have System Debloat. And here, it's pretty simple. This category will just allow you to disable features, which uh, most people don't use. But if you use one of these, maybe like Bluetooth or Hyper-V for virtual machines, then uh, feel free to skip it. But of course, there are reverts for any everything. Same as with anything else. There's reverts for everything in the utility. I'll, I'll just go through these. So first, I'll disable Game DVR on Xbox. Then telemetry, which is just Windows collecting data. Afterwards, we have uh, toggle Bluetooth, where here you have the option to disable and enable Bluetooth just to be sure, boom. Afterwards, we have mitigations, which these are some more security features, which also protect against memory and driver-based attacks, but they do come at a pretty big performance cost. So again, same as with core isolation, if you're just a casual PC user, you, you don't download too much shady stuff and you just wanna use your PC primarily for gaming, then I would recommend disabling mitigations. But if you're more serious about your security, then uh, go back to the menu. Anyways, boom. So. Sixth, we have diagnostics and error reporting, just some more Microsoft telemetry features. And next up, we have Microsoft Store. So if you don't use uh, Microsoft Store, then feel free to disable it. Of course, if you use it, back to menu. Uh, next up, we have hyper, hyper virtualization. So if you use virtual machines on your PC, which 99% of people don't, then uh, you can disable it. Then we have disable startup apps, which you can do this through this app, which is called Autoruns. In here, it's very important that you go to log on. Make sure you do that. And here, uh, just disable everything which you don't want automatically starting up when you turn on your PC. And that is basically everything for me. Uh, this is how I keep it. But for example, if you want Discord to automatically turn on when you turn on your PC, then check it. But yeah, afterwards, you can just close it. No issue. And yeah, the next thing that we have is Windows Update Blocker. So Windows updates can randomly start up in the background and cause major performance issues. So Windows updates, if they're enabled, can randomly start up in the background and can completely cook your performance if you're doing something like gaming. So I would generally recommend disabling them until you want to install one. But yeah, if you ever want to install one, just go back into the app and enable them. Boom. So then we have disable smart screen. It's the blue little screen that pops up when you open an unverified app. It's just another useless security feature which just false detects a bunch of stuff and doesn't really prevent anything. So I would disable it. But if you're about your security, then feel free to keep it on. Afterwards, we have uninstall useless apps. So this is a separate little category inside a category. So first we have uninstall Windows pre-installed apps. So these are just a bunch of these apps like Office, Windows, Phone, so much stuff which Microsoft just installs by default. And this will uninstall all of that. 
Of course, there's reverts for all this. So if you use any of these apps per chance, which I highly doubt, but uh, you can revert it. So then uh, you have the option to manually go into settings and uninstall anything which you don't want. So I've done this a while ago, so I don't have anything in here which I want to install. But if you see something and you have, you're have you sure that you don't use it, then, you know, just press here, uninstall. Afterwards, we have uninstall Microsoft Edge. If you don't Edge, you know, press 3. And in here, uninstall it. Boom. And then we have uh, Cortana and Copilot, which are another very useless windows feature boom so that's everything for the bloat all right so afterwards we have the storage category which i've reworked in this update and first we have trim and the fragment drives which is pretty simple boom but that's all you have to do is just press one it will do it for you so afterwards we have disable write cache buffer flushing so if you experience frequent power outages like the whole power in your house gets turned off uh the sports your pc gets turned off i wouldn't disable it because uh, if it's disabled, it will. There's a higher chance that data will get corrupted. But if you don't experience power outages, then uh, just disable this. It will improve your performance. All right. So afterwards, we have optimized the new technology file system. Just press T3 to do it. Simple as that. And then we have optimized last access time behavior. So the fourth option, uh, just select if you have a SSD or a hard drive. So I personally have a SSD as my boot drive. So I'll be pressing one. And it will set these two settings accordingly if you have a ssd or hard drive and lastly we have disable storage power savings so here just select one or two depending on if you have a hard drive or ssd as your boot drive and i have ssd so i'm gonna press one and yeah that's everything for storage optimizations so afterwards we have memory optimizations so just press nine and in here all you have to do is just select the amount of ram you have if you don't know how much, just check in Task Manager. But this will just automatically apply the best settings for your specific RAM amount. So, boom. Now, the second to last category is going to be additional slash QOL. Uh, these are all just quality of life tweaks. You can feel free to do these or not. All of these are pretty self-explanatory, except UAC. This just makes everything run as administrator by default. And no, it's not really a security hazard because every single like malicious software can bypass this in like two seconds. So... And if you have UAC disabled, it's not really a security uh, issue. I'm sorry for saying this, but almost every single modern virus, rat, anything can bypass it almost instantly. So having it disabled is just convenient because you don't have to run everything as admin. I also added this uh, neat little feature where you can check your real Fortnite ping by directly pinging the Fortnite servers. Keep in mind, it's not 100% accurate, but it's a bit more accurate than the Fortnite in-game ping counter. The last thing that we have is the EXM network utility. And, and here I would just recommend making another restore point. And once you're in here, just press T and it will open the tutorial for this uh, since I have a separate video uh, dedicated to this tool. So just press and there's a whole separate tutorial for this. So just watch this video and it will explain everything needed about them. Um, network utility thanks for watching that's everything you need for this utility after you use it make sure to restart your pc because the tweaks won't properly apply if you don't restart your pc and yeah if it helps you please comment down below and share your results with us thank you guys see you later